Greetings Wired Differently. People, Todd Saylor here, here to talk to you about the word drift. The word drift, the word drift actually is in a book called Wired Different. Wired Differently writes about the drift. And actually the beginning of the book is so powerful in regarding the drift. The drift's an interesting word. But we're gonna talk about today, the outcome of today's quick talk is what are the three things you can do to avoid the drift? So let's talk about the drift real quick. The drift is this unknowingly, slowly way of leaking air from your tire, or leaking processes from your body, forgetting the things that maybe your dad taught you, your teacher taught you, your mommy taught you, your, your preacher, your coach, your mentors, your grandpa, your papa. These things were ingrained to us early as kids and even young adults to do the right things and do certain things and to think certain ways because these wise people have poured into you. They loved you. But as we get older, some of these things kind of wear off and we don't think about them as often. And the things that have formed us drift away. And this drift is because we kind of want to fall back into what's made us comfortable, our comfort zone. You see, and then the comfort zone leads to a dastardly place called the land of quo. Drift to comfort zone, live in the land of quo. But right now I want to talk to you about drift and the three things, the three P's, pride, power, and plenty, that allow us to drift, that I want you to get a grasp on, I want you to get a grip on, that you're not immune of. I want you to avoid the drift so you don't land around in the uh, comfort zone and you certainly don't start to wallow in this land of quo because it's a bad, bad place. Drift. The three P's to avoid drift. One is pride, power, plenty. Pride, power, plenty. First one is pride. I know how to get there. I know how to do this. Don't tell me, don't give me directions. Honey, just be quiet over there. I've been driving my entire life. I'm a professional driver. I know how to do this. I've done it before a hundred times. I don't need that help there. Those people don't even know what they're doing. They act like they're so cool and everything. I'm not using them. Even if they didn't know how to do it, I'm not gonna use them because I don't want to give them any credit. I want it to be all mine. I want this to be my idea. Pride. Power. Power. I got so much power, I can get on a boat, go drive anywhere I want to go out until it gets leaky. Power. I, I was an elected official. I mean, my people voted for me. So I am incumbent to make these decisions because I have the power. Power. I have a lot of money, influence, and power. So you should listen to me just because I have money. Well, it doesn't make you smarter. It, does, it doesn't do, it makes you have more money. Money does not make you smarter. Power does not make you smarter. Power causes you to drift. And the last one is plenty. You probably had plenty of this, plenty of that. Now you got plenty. I got plenty of money. At least I got enough to get by. I got plenty of friends. At least enough to tell me what I want to hear. I got plenty of ideas. Because I think of them all the time. And I put some of them into action. Some of them work. Maybe they don't. But I have plenty. I have, I have plenty of things. Plenty. Don't tell me what I need to know. I'm, just, I'm fine. Causes you to drift. The Bible says it's easier to put the camel through the eye of the needle than a rich man to inherit the kingdom. Why is that? <laughs> because the rich man has plenty. He doesn't need to lean on God's word. He doesn't need to lean on your mentor's word. He doesn't need to lean on anything because he has plenty. Plenty. Number one reason you'll drift. Pride, power, plenty. Pride, power, plenty. Causes you to drift. Moves you to your comfort put you in your tipping point the land of quote. It's no joke, baby. I want to challenge you. Why are you